What is up, everybody? So as you know, aim is absolutely critical in Fortnite. In my opinion, out of every single mechanic in Fortnite, your building, your editing, your aim, your movement, and all this stuff, I would say that aim is absolutely the most important. Aim is such a critical factor in Fortnite, but it's something that so many people miss out on. So that's why in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your aim dramatically in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. This video is going to have three of the most updated maps to improve your aim, as well as just a bunch of general tips you can use. And hopefully by the end of this video, you should know exactly how to make your aim way better in Fortnite. Before we get into it, if you find this video helpful, then be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content just like this in the future, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. And finally, guys, if you want to show some extra support on top of all that, then consider using code TECO in the item shop. It's 100% free for you. It only takes a few seconds to type in, and it seriously does help me out a bunch. As always, a massive thank you to everyone who uses it. But with all that said, and without further ado, let's get into today's video. So getting into our first map of today's video, and this one is going to be an absolute classic, which is the Skavik Aim Trainer. The Skavik Aim Trainer has been around for a super long time. I think it's been around since Chapter 1, Season 7. And for that entire time, it's been one of the most popular maps in the entire game, and for good reason. The Skavik Aim Trainer is a fantastic single-player aim trainer. What it is is basically a recreation of Kovacs within Fortnite. If you don't know what Kovacs is, it's basically an external aim trainer. So it's an aim trainer outside of Fortnite that you can use to improve your aim within Fortnite. The reason I'm not going over Kovacs in this video is just because it's only for PC. But if you guys are interested in Kovacs, I do have plenty of videos about the best Kovacs routines and whatnot. But since it costs money and it's PC only, I'm not covering that in this video. But with that said, now that that tangent about Kovacs is over, this map has an absolute ton of different scenarios ranging from close range with SMGs and shotguns to mid range with ARs and even long range. As I said before, it's basically a recreation of Kovacs within Fortnite. It has so many different scenarios and they're all pretty good. And yeah, guys, really, I don't have too much else to say about Skavix Aim Trainer. It's an absolutely fantastic map. It's been a classic. It's been around for a super long time time and it's one of the best ways to improve your aim. So if you don't already use this map, I definitely recommend you start sinking some time in it. It's going to help you improve a ton. With that in mind, I'll go ahead and put the code up on screen right now for you guys. Getting into our second map for this video though, and this one is going to be Raiders 1v1 Aim Trainer. Raiders 1v1 Aim Trainer is another map that's been around for quite a while, and it's absolutely one of the best maps for aim training from all ranges because it actually uses real players instead of targets. So as much as I love the Skavik map, the fact of the matter is that it does not use real players. So it's absolutely fantastic for improving your cursor control and your general aim but it's also very hard to replicate the types of movements and whatnot that you get with an actual player. So don't get me wrong, Skavix is absolutely incredible. I love that map, but you do want to mix it up and kind of get some more practice with real players. What happens in this map is you and a random player queue up into matchmaking. You both pick your HP, you pick a random scenario you want to do, and you pick a weapon, which is usually based on that scenario. And after that, you simply shoot at each other constantly until somebody dies. And you have thousands of points of HP, so that means it takes quite a while for somebody to actually die, so you can get a lot of aim training in very quickly. As I kind of touched on before, this is absolutely fantastic because, as I said, while targets can help a ton with cursor control and help you improve your aim, it's also very hard to actually replicate real players' movements, which is why this map is so amazing. So all you gotta do is put the code into your creative, hop into matchmaking, and you should find a random player to go against, and you can go from there. With that in mind, I'll put the code up on screen to Raiders 1v1 Aim Trainer right now. Finally, guys, getting into our third and final map for this video, and this one is gonna be Panville's Headshot Only Map. Panville's Headshot Only Map is another one that's been around for a decent while, and this map is such a fantastic concept. It's basically a massive Turtle Wars map, so if you don't know that, it's basically like a box fight between a bunch of people. The only difference between this map and a regular map is that you need to hit a headshot to get each kill. So this map has the benefit of putting you in real fights like a regular Turtle Wars map, but it also requires you to hit good shots, which helps you improve your aim a lot. This helps you a ton to improve your cursor control and really helps you build that good habit of not only going for headshots, but also just taking the time with your shots to make sure that you hit big damage with your shotgun. A big mistake that so many people make when they're fighting is they try to just flick to their target right away and get a shot off. But really, when you have a shotgun, especially the Havoc, which basically hits for 190 most of the time, it's really important that you actually take the time to line up your shot, hit a big shot, and then you just switch to your SMG or whatever and you finish off the kill. That's something that so many players mess up on, especially in this era of Fortnite where everybody knows how to build and edit super fast, everyone wants to hit these fancy clips and stuff. Really being able to take that extra quarter of a second, line up your shot, it is such an important factor. And oftentimes the ability to do that is the difference between winning a fight and losing a fight. Since it's a regular combat map, this is a pretty easy map to just jump into and grind out for a little while. And it'll seriously help you out a lot, not only with your habits, but just with your general aim as well. Also guys, just a quick little side note, this map also does use the Havoc shotgun, so that means it's updated to the current season. So if you guys want to get more practice with specifically the Havoc shotgun, then this is the map to do that. But overall guys, Panville's headshot map is absolutely fantastic, it's one of the best maps to improve your shotgun aim. And not only that, but it also helps you improve your box fighting, your peaks, and just your general gameplay from close range. So if you want to give this map a shot, I'll go ahead and put up the code on screen right now. 
Also, just to clarify, the map that I'm putting on screen is the one with the Havoc. He does have variations with like the Pump, the Maven, and other shotguns, but I find that this is probably going to be the best one for you guys this season. That's simply because the Havoc is the most common shotgun and the one that most people prefer. With that in mind, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the three different maps that I wanted to show you in this video. So with that in mind, now that we've gone over all that, the main thing I want to do to finish off this video is just give you guys some general tips that you can use to improve your aim. So with that in mind, I'm just going to get into a couple of quick tips for you guys. And the first tip I have here is to figure out your timing. What I I mean by timing is basically just the amount of time that you're actually going to spend aim training. Now the way I recommend approaching this is going to be based on how experienced you are with aim training. Obviously for a total beginner who's never aim trained in their life, they're really not going to take too much aim training to improve. Whereas if you've been training your aim for one to two years or more, then you're probably going to need a lot more time each time you get on to actually be able to improve your aim consistently. So with that in mind, this timing is going to differ for everybody. But just to give you guys some general ranges for like 90% of players, I'm going to say the best range for beginners is going to be around 10 to 20 minutes. Minutes. The best for intermediates is typically going to be around 20 to 30 minutes. And finally, for advanced aimers, people who have amazing aim, it's typically going to be about 30 minutes or more. The next tip I have for you guys is a very simple one, but one that makes a massive difference. And this one is to aim train at the start of your session rather than the middle or end. The main reason that I recommend this is because it's way easier to stick to it. From my experience, it's just way harder to get off arena or something like that in the middle of your session and just go and aim train for a half hour. Truthfully, aim training is typically going to be one of the more boring parts of your practice routine, so I recommend just getting it out of the way early. As well as that, not only does it just get it out of the way, but it can also help you kind of prime your aim before you play. A lot of players find that when they aim train before they actually hop onto the game, they tend to just hit way more of their shots and be much more consistent in their gameplay. So hopefully that actually carries over to you guys as well. Getting into our third general tip for this video though, and this one is to be as consistent as possible. What a lot of players do with aim training is they aim train for like a week, they do pretty good, and then they just stop. They feel like they don't make an absolute ton of progress in that week, so why do they even bother continuing? The fact of the matter is that aim training is going to be a long process. You can't really expect your first session or two to make a massive difference in your aim. It takes a really, really long time. Sometimes it takes months to even notice a difference. I just want to tell you guys the truth about it. That way you don't have unrealistic expectations. And finally, guys, getting into our last tip for this video, and this one is to find good settings and stick with them. By settings, I'm typically referring to sensitivity and dead zones if you're on controller, but I guess you can kind of apply the same concept to keybinds and all that sort of stuff. So find a good sensitivity that works for you, something that's not too high, not too low, and basically just stick with it. For reference, you guys, I've played 400 DPI and 15.5% X and Y for basically the past three years in Fortnite. And then just recently, only a couple weeks ago, I changed it to, I believe it's either 18 or 18.5%. The only reason I did that is because I want to improve my mechanics and keep in mind that is my only change within in pretty much three years, I think. And the same kind of concept applies with pros. If they find a sensitivity that just works way better for them, then they switch to it long term, but they're not constantly upping and lowering their sensitivity depending on how they feel that day. So try to stay out of that habit and hopefully that helps you guys out. But with all that said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on how to improve your aim dramatically in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. Overall, by following all the tips in this video, you should be able to improve your aim consistently in Fortnite. Hopefully these three maps and all the tips I gave help you out. If you found this video helpful, then be sure to drop a like on it. And and if you want to see more content just like this in the future, then be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Finally, if you want to show some extra support, it would really mean a lot to me if you could use code Teco in the item shop. As always, it's 100% free for you and it seriously does help me out a bunch. A massive thank you as always to everyone who uses it. But with all that said, thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.